back, folks. Sorry, it's taking a bit of time. Coffee, all that kind of stuff. Okay, glasses. Glasses. Need me glasses. Okay, I've got one landing. It's too late. I'm gonna have to do this without me glasses on. <laughs> spectacular landing. Now this guy might turn and land over my hotel. Yeah, I'll need that jelly so I can. It should start turning now. Yeah. Right over the parking lot of my hotel. Yeah. Yes, please. It was quite a sort of like splash landing, wasn't it? That's almost like a, maybe a rookie fly, flying that plane, slightly rookie it, compared to the other guys and girls. Or, you know, um, maybe it's his style, I don't know, but that was quite heavy down on the back, wasn't it? Um, they generally tend to take a, oh, look at this lovely old thing coming up here, Jilly, look. the one that just landed and if that's the case there'll be oh, I think that's just landed actually um, okay this guy's just hanging about um, sort of waiting I think yeah I think or, or, the, or the paint is um, just flaking is it maybe is the paint flaking? I think it might be um, shabby chic. <laughs> I can't see properly. I haven't got me flipping glasses on, Jilly. You'll have to tell me. I'm seeing sort of like, you know, looking quite, looking like the paint is sort of like peely and. Uh, hotel folks there's my hotel and this guy right in the parking lot stand and my and you can hear him come down okay here we go let's see what sort of touchdown this is it's one of those sort of like really feathered touchdowns they run it for about 50 yards Bring it in, Clyde. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Skills, yeah. See what I mean about the other fella, just, uh, or the, um, who, whomever it may be, um, sort of thumped it down. Maybe he's training, maybe he's training. Maybe he's training. Okay, I'll get my phone out, get some comments going. Hey, do they do this on Flight Simulator, Jilly? Oh, yeah, the, uh, see, um, the, uh, yeah, they do, surely they will do, yeah. Or float planes, I think, I think float plane is most definitely, even though this is called a seaplane port, um, Lake Hood, um, 
I think it's more float planes. And what have we got then? What have we got? We put seaplanes in, did we? No, I think we should change it to float planes, man. Yeah, change them all. Yeah, because... Because uh, it gets people's imagination, doesn't it? Like float planes, okay. I've heard of seaplanes, but... But these are float planes. Well, because they run floats. Yeah. Um, wow, this guy's either uh, always... Okay, he's taking a very long run up, this guy. Um, unless he's going to um, his... Look at the little... Uh, look at the little pads that they got. Right, so now he's doing what... To, he's drifting it. He's allowing it to drift. Then he'll turn it into the wind. Oh, Superfly Steve has flown into Lake Hood last... Yeah, I'll have to get on the for Xbox. I'll have to get on the Xbox. We should, um, we should do that live, Jelly, really, shouldn't we? Didn't we do that one with me landing on the carrier live? Did we do it on the carrier live? I can't remember. Made it, though. Made it. Made it. And I... I... Yeah, yeah. Yes, it did. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, we should definitely, uh, we should definitely do it live. First time, first time. You know, we'll do the takeoff and everything. I'll get myself because I've kind of got the, the, I've flown the light aircraft. I've gone through the lessons, the early stages of. I would need a refresher course though. Um, again, because I've been away from it for so long. Come on, son. What are you doing? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh man, that was a full run. That was a dreamliner run of a float plane. Wow, that was a long run. Is that, is, is that I guess it's just a derated um, throttle input, isn't it? Depending on his weight. Uh, oh, yeah, he has that. That guy has gone. Look, I think he has. Uh, I think he has gone over this. He's going to give me time to go and get me glasses. Hold on a minute. Uh, let me just. Um, just feast your eyes on that lovely, beautiful um, scenery for a moment, folks.
It's almost like asking where they are and they're on your head, you know. Idiot. Okay. Oh, sorry, folks. Let me just power this up. Okay, we'll charge there. Fan is on there. That's at 100% anyway, so... Right, okay, that's all good there. We've got spare mics here. So, folks, there we go. Um, let's, uh, let's come in and uh, say hello to a few people. Well... The thing is that there are these things around in the UK, but you'd have to sort of like chat. Apparently, this is the... Was it Ian who said the world's busiest um, uh, float plane port or what, what, what was the... Um, something like that. Oh no, no, it wasn't him. It was Michael. It was Michael this morning, the cameraman slash director. <laughs> Just in case he's watching. <laughs> okay, let's get some proper questions going here. Michael was the um, camera operator stroke sort of uh, director. Uh, Dave was the guy interviewing me. No, 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 no. Dave was the, um, the anchor man. Hi, good evening and welcome to, uh, KMBC Channel 2. He's a healthy version of that fella on airplane repo. He's Michael. Yeah, yeah. You know the fella, you know, like, okay, bro. Michael's a, um, a, a healthy and fit version of the fella from airplane repo. Like, built like a, you know, but, but, uh, and healthier looking and all that. Okay, bro. Always, uh, always sweating, and that that fellow is always sweating. Actually. Anyway, not Michael, <laughs> fella from Airbrave Repo. Yeah, all a little bit put on in it. Like. Okay, so Anthony Roberts has very kindly gifted five Big Jet TV memberships. It's wonderful, isn't it, what you guys do. Um, I, I know there have been a few more. Hold on a minute. Let me just... Uh, the uh, locomotive. Michael Lashuk. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this amazing week. It has been fantastic, folks. Thank you so much for your company. Andy Williams, Nicholas Gray. Next trip to Anchorage, Jerry. And a camera and a float plane to record for later broadcast. Well, we've got a lot of stock footage that we can use for a big promo now next time we come to Anchorage. It will be summer next year. Um, oh, listen to that engine. Just, let's, just, let's just bask in it, shall we? Just bask in the sound. Incoming. 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 He's quite high. He's quite high. Wow. Yeah, he's still at 1500 feet. This is going to be quite a rapid descent. But 
these guys know all the little nooks and crannies and best lining and uh, so he's he's coming from a different angle. he's coming straight at it Okay, right, okay. So we're thinking that this is maybe people who live in Anchorage are, um, are coming home after, the, after working the week away or something like that perhaps, yep. Here we go. Closer to the fence here because, uh, sorry about that. Because, um, then I don't, uh, then I can follow it all the way down without fence. Okay, let me just uh, make sure that that angle, because I've changed the angle on the, the bank now. Okay, let's just see if we can take that down a little bit. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, anybody wants to get some kind of idea ge geographically uh, where we are? Don't worry, folks. I've got my eye on this one out the back here. Um, the airport where we were at um, is just over there. Um, in fact, you can almost kind of nearly see where we were positioned on the other side of the runway just up there to the right um, but lots of maintenance sheds and uh, independent engineering companies and uh, all that kind of thing going on that side of the field I'm guessing there's uh, parking there's hard standing over there there's also a link taxiway um, across the main road between here and the uh, and the airport the other side so uh, wheeled aircraft Wheeled. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. This guy's coming in pretty hot. I'm liking this. That is fantastic, man. You know what I can do? You know what the amazing thing about these sticks are? You can come right up to this fence here, and then I can literally pitch it vertical. Um, like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait.
<laughs> wow. Yeah. It is busy. Stand by, let me just get this. It is busy with people coming back, isn't it? Local residents. Let me just check this and check that. That's good. We're good. Okay. Look at that sky, man. Look at the sky. Isn't that beautiful, man? Sprog that uh oh, this is nice, I like this. I like the uh why not air cooled engine in it, is that an air cooled is this is it this air cooled like Hercules type engine? Look how many cylinders she's got, man. Look how many cylinders. Wow. Oh, and then look. Yeah, folks. Okay, so, uh, Lake Hood, yes, um, a beautiful place, folks. Uh, well, it's just lovely here anyway, in general. Um, of course, these, all these, if you look on Google Earth, you'll see the, uh, all the dispersals, like little uh, cul-de-sacs with their own little bays. Um, and their own little, uh, sort of like, I guess those huts are for, you know, when they come and do maintenance on them to keep stuff in there, keep provisions in there and that kind of thing, I'm guessing. You know, it's not like a little house. <laughs> it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful, man. Little boat yard over there with a crane there, look. Pete's boats. Maintenance shed over there. That's quite uh, industrial over there. A little bit back to the uh, almost like um, another boatyard. Look, more cranes. It's almost like uh, almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? Kind of place. It's right here next to uh, the craziest airport with the most amazing action. Um, of course, we're going to be back, folks. Also, um, Michael earlier on telling me that he uh, he knows of a couple of other positions where we can uh, catch seven arrivals. Uh, we did seven departures. Uh, sorry. 2-5 departures, isn't it? The opposite way. We, we caught that uh, going into the sunset, wasn't it, during March, right at the end on the last day. That's a good one to catch. Um, weren't there for very long. That's where I did the um, star, uh, the s s snow, the snow angel, <laughs> right at the end. Um, 
and it was it was successful. It was successful. And I'm not doing a mud angel this time, man. <laughs> so all the way around. That's uh, the 747 captain that we uh, we caught going out this morning. Um, that's his plane over there. And his little hut. 747-8 pilot and that's his uh, he probably to be honest with you he probably has a lot more fun flying that because he can chuck it around a bit I'd imagine you know and um, 747 is oh there's one going out there I mean obviously the 747 as an office is the most incredible thing isn't it that looks like a P-51 uh, fuselage almost. Yeah, there's a few up here where there are, uh, um, there's, a, there's a couple up the back there where, where my hotel room sort of like overlooks one of the roads that runs around the back here that is sort of, um, I think it's uh, back through there. little glades where they just park their boats up see they're empty um, dispersals there aren't they in there so um, people may be inbound that's that one that we caught just now That's the one that landed. Oh. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Steve and his mate Jim again, isn't it? <laughs> Over here, mate. Where are you going? Over here, just, just come over here for a bit. <laughs> oh. Oh, mind those, um, I'm sure the birds are, the, the, these things are going to sow the fields and scatter. They are going to scatter these guys. Watch this. An interesting angle he's going at though, I've got to say. Or is he just a... Uh, Oh, TCC pull up, son. Um, Richard Selling, uh, Ian's plane is a Cessna 180J Skywagon, 46 years old. A lot of these float planes are converted to ski planes as soon as the lake freezes during the winter. Yeah, I've, um, I mean, obviously, there's a, I guess, like a boat, you'll have to pull it, you'll have to get it off the water before it freezes, I'm guessing. Um, and, uh, like, uh, I'm just looking to see whether there's any sort of, like, does every parking bay have enough aft of it to be able to pull the plane out of the water because to convert them I mean I know it's just the but you've got to it's not something that you can do at your dispersals is it you've really kind of it's got to be done on land hasn't it obviously so 
think this guy might just be taxiing somewhere. I don't think he's coming out. Because he's on the wrong side of the lake, unless he's... Uh... I have seen them go out of here before, though. I have seen them go out of here before. Get excited. Don't they normally taxi a bit faster than that, couldn't they? If he was going over to his mates or to a dispersal, wouldn't you think he'd... No, that's not... He's not coming out. <laughs> you can't taxi it over the lake, though, can you? Because, uh, obviously, you've got to keep the lake clear. But I have seen them taxi pretty quickly. This guy's... Um, maybe... Uh, Maybe he's got a rover. <laughs> because I definitely have seen different speed limits being observed at, at speeds. Oh, OK. OK, OK, this is interesting. Be uh, assessing him. Was there two people in that uh, in that cockpit? Amphibious floats have retractable landing gear, so technically they are amphibious. Others are pure float planes, having no land. Now this is one of those ones that's going into the strip that attaches, there's a strip between, so that the road will be closed now, I think. The road crossing, should I say. Um, I've got to look on Google Earth actually, because that kind of doesn't look like that's going towards that. No, that's interesting. No, that's an airstrip over there, isn't it? Oh. Okay, is there a grass strip over there then? That, that um... Hello, mate! It's gravel here. Where did you get to, mate? Huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, yeah. Mate, we went and did a member stream. Didn't you, you didn't know we were there? No. Because I was like, I was like over an hour, I think, at the, at the store. That's what I figured. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting you to hold on, man. No. Did I... you just go home? Yeah. That's a shame, man. I know. But it's all good. Yeah. We, got, we got some great stuff. Good. Next time, man, we're coming out in June. Good, warmer. Yeah. Nice weather, more planes, too. More planes? Yeah, we should. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, yeah. especially here. Yeah, absolutely. I think this guy's, um, I think this guy's training. Is he? Okay. I think he's uh, possibly having a lesson. Is there a fella in there with him? Or a, a lady um, instructor? That is definitely. Is that me doing lessons, Jim? <laughs> lessons. <laughs> Come on, son. So that is definitely, I think, um, somebody learning. Mate, how far through their training they are, I don't know. I mean, 
if you can fly one of these things that's the the only thing that you're uh, changing really is the um is the surface that you're flying it off of so obviously the i'm guessing that the power settings um are not too dissim dissimilar to um aircraft that are on um grass strips or or basically on wheels maybe might have a little bit more drag i think from the uh from the floats that guy go around did he do a touch and go Probably. i think he did didn't he these big wheels look at these big wheels man Those are those ones that can land, they can land on an upslope. Yeah. Gravelly slopes and stuff like that. It's like an off-roader. There's a, if I was on Google Earth now, I'd be able to see exactly um, where that where that is let me have a look on my phone oh you got it you got it okay that gravel strip that strip there is it gravel right here it's oh. gravel right there oh, okay right yeah it's a gravel strip jilly yeah i got you thanks man yeah 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 That's what those that's that's what those big wheels, those big tires are all about. Big pneumatic tires, uh, which can land on like you know, the upslope of a mountainside. Well, no, he has gone around. He has gone around. He's doing touch and goes. Yeah, he's doing circuits, circuits and bumps. Cool. I wonder if this guy's going to, uh, oh no, there's another one. It's a different one. <laughs> now I don't know if that's his first flight or what, but or was he just testing the? Uh... Oh no! Oh, here we go. Okay, I can turn that off now. His bloody legs not normally sticking out like that. That's why I keep walloping it. So sorry about that, folks. Okay, first in, first to happen is this one. Haha! <laughs> Oh, this is one of the, um, almost like a taxi service, I think, here. They've got like five or six float planes, these, uh, these guys. Oh, sundown. Sorry, folks. Sundown has, uh, Gonna turn left at the end there. That's where they all park up, these guys. Yeah. How cool is that, man? Letting it drift. This seems to be part of the procedure here, where they just let it... It 
Sundown upgraded to super class. What a lovely thing to do. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody who's uh, joining in tonight. I hope you're all well. Seems like a, a very small group of us together. Where are you from, folks? Tell us where you're from, and I'll uh, I'll read out some um, some locations. Nine cylinder Pratt and Whitney 450 HP. Dave Allberg saying, was that the Pratt and Whitney? Um, yeah, nine cylinder. There we go. How many cylinders? Beautiful man. Um, air cooled engine, much like the um, the Hercules engine that they used in the Halifax Mark III and the B-17s uh, engines, that type of engine. But uh, these are a scaled down version, obviously. You wouldn't put that, I think the ones, um, I think the uh, <laughs> the B-17s ones were, uh, were they, they, they were a lot bigger, weren't they? Oh, mind you, I don't know. You put four of those, um, put four of those on an aircraft, that's, uh, hmm, I don't know. Interesting, um, interesting little subject. That is like, uh, I guess, because the pistons would need to be bigger, therefore the cylinders would need to be bigger. So overall, just the diameter would probably be larger on the B17 than something like uh, these ones that fly here with the uh, the cylinder engines. So just finding his position or her position, going to turn into the wind quite soon and then uh, fire it up. Here we go. How cool is that, man? Oh, my word, man. Great departure. And hey, it was almost as if the lakefront had asked him to take that very route because you couldn't have had a better bleeding um, advert for the lakefront hotel, could you? Now, this, this guy's approach is a little bit interesting. So I think he's going to uh, come in the normal way. This is one of the... Uh, I think this is a... Um, air-cooled engine as well, a radial. Sounds like it. That sounds like a radial, that looks. See, that's the... Uh, that's the little one going on to the ground. Yeah, so this is... These guys do this... Well, like a taxi service, really, so... Literally, could almost do it blindfolded, probably, by the feel. Um, obviously not, <laughs> but, you know, just so relaxed when they bring it in that they're not really uh, having to massively concentrate because it's, a, it's just, a, unless, of course, there's high winds or something like that. But other than that, it's like uh, a second home, isn't it?
I love that. That is just so cool. say folks Monday I, I can't even begin to look back at the uh, at the crazy moments of the the last five days five days man. Um, three of it of which were um, were with um, I think Evan and uh, Timothy toothpicks of the toothpick variety um, were, with, were with us for uh, for three of those days. Was it three days, mate? Yeah, three days. I think yeah. it was anyway. Uh, so there we go. Sundown. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Sounds like that DC three from earlier. Aidan Campbell um, looked a little student. Uh, Sienothus. Okay, one float for a second. Easy, Sam. <laughs> Probably a flare gun or a flare gun. Okay. One of the two. Uh, Mars High. Nice sun there. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, have a look at the beginning of uh, most of the shows, especially this morning's show. Uh, even though it was relatively short-lived. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got little birds landing. I've got little sea, sea birds landing. Hold on a minute. Water birds, waterfowl, whatever you flipping call it. I don't know. I just want to see if we can get one or two of them. Here we go, here we go. Look at their little wings, man. <laughs> That's kind of trippy, really. Um, <laughs> look at the wind socket, Kenji. <laughs> and a little bit of life in it, but not a great deal. Oh, what a week, what a week. It is a week as well, isn't it? Five days. Um, so much has happened. I really, uh, um, people want to say about it. Uh, Favourite moment. Um, oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. We want, we want, um, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, it's float planes that we want, though. Um, oh, there's one. There's one on approach. That's that's the sea plane. That's, that's, that's the float plane. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, uh, think of your favourite moment, folks, and let's uh, let's have a little um, let's have a little chat about this. I know there's only half a thousand of us watching, but um, it's it's a it's a lovely community, no matter how many it is, isn't it? Arena robot, best week. Okay, another <laughs> poor fella. Nobody likes me. Oh no, another play. Robert Mendes' fav uh, f f favourite moment was the moose encounter. Oh, I tell you, man, I tell you. You, you must have all felt my... Um, well, yeah, it, yeah, how tense it was. It was tense. Yeah, it was beautiful, but I was, uh, I was concerned, put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is nicely idled here. This is going to be smooth. This is. See, one crashed here a, a while back, didn't it? There have been a few incidences here, and you can yeah. see that. If the um, if 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 the if he dips one float in too aggressively um, to either side or forward heavy or even back heavy, you can see how easily you can flip one of these things. From what I can see, there's a lot of sort of like stuff going on there, isn't it? It's not like wheels where you know you've got a set of wheels that that that, that, that quickly spin out and and have got suspension and all that. There's no suspension here. These things are just um, are mounted to the uh, to the airframe, um, so it's quite a critical sort of like thing to learn, I'm guessing, in terms of bringing it in. Unlike the fella who did it earlier on, where he just literally brought it in, brought it to ten feet, and then turned it off. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think he'll um, fast, high speed, high speed. Is that a cormorant? Oh, he's going flipping egg, man. Some of the speed some of these birds fly, man. It's just so impressive. Oh. Don't you want to talk to me again, do you? <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> um, yeah, he looks so bored, doesn't he? Uh... <laughs> Uh, J. Albo, uh, Albo, uh, Albug, um, Al oh, J. Where else can you get moose and seven four seven? Um, I J. Savvy, I agree. Intense and Jerry, you're living a charmed life to be that close to the wild animals. Very, very fortunate indeed. I've got to say. Um, I mean, it's a dream come true, really, to be that. I mean, well, to be so close to uh, to. Uh, 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 to wildlife in general, but that was a little bit too close for comfort. I've got to say, um, I was sort of like, you know, um, th there was a gap here, wasn't there? You know, there was a gap here between the, the bush where he's, he was eating all the leaves from and my sticks, there was a gap there. And he was sort of like looking over the, see, right, where's the missus then? Right, and then he sort of like came towards me and then uh, was all like that. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, um, a little bit intense, but absolutely fantastic. Oh, Zoshi Windsock is sad that Jerry is leaving. Uh, Melody R. O'Malley, uh, location worth a visit in the spring and fall, miles high, saying. <laughs> Robert Mendes, TCC. Uh, Adam Gallagher, thank you very much indeed. Watch most of the shows from Brisbane, Australia, as the 18-hour time difference worked. There you go. That's fantastic. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Um, Ring of Fire was classic <laughs> with Marseille. Oh dear, I'm going to put that Rush album on again when I... Uh, Scott Shawcross. Imagine the skills uh, with flying the Catalinas and the Sunderland aircraft. Well, the good thing is that the Catalina and the Sunderland was a single, um, uh, a single hull, like a boat with floats either side of it, stabiliser floats. Um, so, and I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, in terms of in terms of the skills of landing it, you know, you don't want to be dipping it in like that. You want to bring it in nice and level. Um, that's kind of the same thing you want to do here, isn't it? I've got one coming in now. Another one of the taxis. Taxi. Um, Cessna 172 Skyhawk with Whipline 2100 floats is my dream. Livionia, blimey. You've been doing a bit of research. Cessna 172 Skyhawk with whip line 2100 floats uh, is, is um, wow. 
Okay. Well, uh, we'll have to we'll have to get on the um, get on the old uh, simulator and, and have a go. I think we'll have to go. Someone on here earlier on saying that they landed here um, on um, Microsoft, didn't they? Microsoft Flight Sim. Okay, this is quite a tight turn. Okay, this is Superfly guy or something, yeah. That's quite interesting. That C-17's very low over there, isn't it? 74 years old, this thing, man. Wow. Oh, man, I'm pulling, I'm pulling on something. I'm pulling on something here. What's going on here? What's going on here? Sorry. These have got passengers so they can't like throw it all over the place, can they? Yeah. Was that people in there? I've, I've such a tiny monitor, I think you can see Piopli in there. Yeah, cool, cool. Probably got like the dog in there with them and stuff like that, you know. Fish and hunting equipment. Hooting and hollering. So, um, Michael uh, mentioning that we may be able to get um, get some filming with the guys at the Air Force Base close to here next time we're here. Uh, let's hope that things are a little bit more settled by summer of next year and the world is a better place. Putin just needs to become a Big Jet TV member, doesn't he? Give him a free membership if he wants it. You know, come on, mate. I love these aeroplanes. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, well, anyway. Um, yes, some beautiful scenery here. DH2 Beaver, Alan Robbins, uh, Nicholas Gray, Tim Rotunda. Um, there is reason they still fly those planes, Tim Rotunda saying. Um, well, actually, a lot of the aircraft here are, are actually quite old. I mean, they don't look that old, but, um, you know, I mean, um, Ian's one isn't, isn't uh, you know, a spring chicken, is it? I think 20 years old or something like that, was it? 48 oh yeah well yeah something crazy like that yeah okay november 46563 so i mean that looks like a plane that was built in like 1980 or something like that but apparently it was it's like 40 odd years old or something crazy like that Uh, sundown today second month membership and it was worth every penny sundown thank you so much um, great to see so many new people great to be able to bring so many pe new people with us uh, 48 years old wow um, here to to Alaska um, of course uh, you'll get to know the drill uh, being a new member um, I want to see their little legs come out when they when they when they go to land. Hold on, hold on. 
We'll get it. We'll get it. There we go. Watch their little legs splay out. Coming at us. Coming at us. Stop flying around and land for crying out loud. <laughs> Here we go. Declan Dolan. What's that? So now that's a that's a quick taxi. There we go. No messing about. Chugging away around the edge. Yeah, look at the wake, man. Look at the wake. How cool is that? This is an old aeroplane. Here we go. Be patient. Wait for the moment. Wait for the moment. Wait for it. Brava! Oh, we your firing squad, sir. Dick hmm. Stew. Duck strafing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, there's a bleeding truck behind me. Here we go. Oh. oh. He rated that one, wasn't it? Wow. Got it going though, isn't it? You know, it must be a very light aeroplane. And those floats, although they're strong, uh, I'm guessing they are um, a special type of skin, are they not? The floats, they're not alloy, are they? They're not... Um, Where are they? Let's just have a little look. No, they're like, f they're, they're um, fiberglass or, uh, yeah, I think they're fiberglass, aren't they? Yeah. Mind you, back in the old days, before the war, um, they would have had aluminum ones, wouldn't they? Um, oh, are they aluminum? It's like there's a weld there. No, you obviously don't weld aluminum. They look I'd imagine they wouldn't be aluminium though because they'd be flipping heavy if they were. Um, and that's what you don't want is a heavy set of floats. Um, nice lightweight uh, either Kevlar which is obviously extremely expensive. Or um, See now that looks like a 1980s plane that does. Julie Cheston, thank you. Uh, Greg Macmillan. Oh, so you're saying aluminium. Um, are you saying that they would run? I, I'd imagine the old, um, the very old aircraft back in the old days uh, probably had aluminium um, before they invented. Uh, actually, it's a bit silly minute, because uh, fiberglass has been. How long's fiberglass been around? compared to how long 
There's fiberglass invented. Let's have a little look here. <laughs> yeah, I know, and you know. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's got to be 60s or something like that, hasn't it? Uh, when was fiber 19? Uh, I tell you, what is a commonly known as fiberglass today? However, was invented in 1938 by Rapp uh, by Russell Games Slater of Owens Corning as a material to be used as insulation. Okay, fiberglass. No, it's not. It's fiberglass sheeting, isn't it? Um, manufacturing. When was fiberglass manufacturing invented? That's what you want to look at, wasn't it? Oh, 1880. <laughs> it's not, the whole... Uh... Yeah, the moose is on the thumbnail, anyone who wants to watch it. You can... Uh, that's... Um, that's... That's... Uh, that's fun viewing, that is. It's... Hello? Somebody let a firework off then. Um... Is that that was members only though, wasn't it, Jilly? Yeah, the moose. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, but okay, the uh, the aircraft, folks, the aircraft themselves, the oh yeah, the bald eagle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. Um, have a have a have a look at that. Yeah, have a look at that uh, that footage with day one and two. Um, yeah, it was when I was up at the other end of uh, as they were coming to work towards me, wasn't it? Um, day one. Uh, yeah, but day one, Jilly. If you remember day one, they switched runways on day one. Can you believe it? Um, we had everything on on day one. Um, but on day two in the morning, when I got there on day two, was when I got there and the moose were there. Um, and then on that position as well, O'Malley is apparently time stamped. Look for time stamps, folks, because O'Malley uh, does put time stamps in the comments of the videos. Um, so, so check those out because um, they're very helpful, obviously, and will take you straight to um, those moments. But yeah, um, and I'm sure that he's got the whole piece in there as well, where it was like, you know, okay, they're coming up towards me. Okay, uh, and at that moment, I was like, hold on a minute. It looked like they were walking up the path. <laughs> I was like, oh no, please don't walk up. Just please don't walk up the path. And then they sort of like veered off like that. And then uh, he went there. And she went there with the with the um, um, with the two calves, and uh, I always remember uh, the guys in the uh, in the airport telling me, uh, uh, "Don't go anywhere near the the mother with the two calves, with the calf, the only one. It was one. It was it was just. Oh, he's just uh, he's got his lights on. Oh, it's a car." Ashton watching with his dad, Trevon. Is it or Trevor? Dolan, 1966 champion fixed wing single engine. Um, is he talking about maybe that one? 19, I mean, 1966, Jilly. 1966. <laughs> what a filth bucket. Look at the state of it. Which one are we talking about? Um, there are some right old beaters over there, um, and they're, they're beautiful, man. They're, 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 but I, I, I don't mind having an old beater, to be honest with you. Um, Kevin Graham, that one was built in 1977. I think that was the one that I was, I was pointing at, 1977. Wow, that is crazy. Um, and uh, so they are, even though they look 
you know, like a relatively young aircraft, they're very old. But uh, but hey, good thing is that it's just an airframe that you've got to maintain. It's a bit like a car, but uh, a lot easier, I would imagine, because access to the framework is is probably and it will have to go through, you know, an MOT and FAA regulated um, some kind of um, safety annual check, blah, 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 like an ABC or D check or whatever it might be. I'm not sure exactly how they work with these, but they're aeroplanes at the end of the day. So they're flying machines and therefore they have to go through, I'm guessing, the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the stringent sort of like regulations that they have to fly with in. <laughs> Alan Robbins, uh, 3N3. 7372H. I think that might be that one over there. Cessna 185 Skywagon, 45 years old. Um, yeah, those um, those shots, folks, of of the uh, of the um, of the bald eagle. Um, watch it, watch it, just as as I catch it. The first one, not the second one. The first one, uh, and then you just absolutely see that A350 wing there. Um, just grab that. There, mate. Uh, not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did try. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Yeah. Annual inspection, 1100 hours if used commercially. There we go, annual inspection. Um, homie the man, they go through a ring of fire. A ring of fire. Uh, Mike Boxel, uh, sundown. 100 hours commercial use, Dave Beeler. Uh, the sparky lady, Nicholas Gray, bank and. Um, what are we looking at here? Lovely cafe, still a favourite livery. Uh, seeing office blue. Uh, Jay Alberg bank shot. Yeah, um, we got some tremendous stuff. I think um, both on day one and day two with with three three in use with the the full run out with them banking and uh, going out away from us. Just some fantastic. Uh, imagery uh, going on here and the backdrop some of the backdrops with the the f-22 raptors um, it just everything about it with the scenery beautiful autumnal scenery uh, it just uh, is it is just something else and it is a paradise really is it not and you guys have all experienced it with us which is just fantastic uh, JG May, born in 63, I guess I'm, I'm oh, okay, like, like me, I'm an old beater, <laughs> born in 63 as well. Uh, safe travel home, uh, Mark Jones, thank you very much indeed. Uh, great plains and great scenery, Miles High, Aidan Campbell. Debash mode, crazy work week, need to catch up on all this, sounds like it was an amazing week. Debash mode it was, shame you weren't with us, um, but yeah, it is worth catching up on. There are some very funny moments um especially on the at the first part of day two definitely um uh, let us know what you think of that um crazy uh balfouri town jerry and jilly thank you both for an amazing week dave beeler um rick melcher thanks for the awesome awesome shows magical place kevin graham la girl uh miles high rick lork uh the mad dogs were a highlight for me there we go uh brought me back to my childhood plane watching yeah talking to somebody today about um about the uh, the mad dogs and the fact that uh, oh it was absolutely it was dave wasn't it it was dave uh, that he uh, he remembers the 727s 
and all that sort of stuff. Um, and um, uh, we talked about the fact that, well, I said that as far as I'm concerned, they're still DC-9s uh, in my eyes. Um, especially as they've got the old Pratt and Whitney's on them, um, but um, I know they're an MD83, blah blah blah. Um, bit like the DC10. I do like the DC10. Okay. Oh, it was O'Malley. The scariest moose encounter was the beginning of members uh, Anchorage Day Three, Part One. Okay, so the scariest moose encounter was beginning of members only Anchorage day three, part one. There we go. Um, Jilly, have you got a flight number? First DC6 takeoff, Dave Allberg saying. That was a 3 3 departure, wasn't it? I've got a plane coming out. Let's see, let's see ya. All right. Uh, Kevin Graham. Uh, fantastic week. I won't ever forget what a great job you and Jilly gave us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, yeah, folks, I mean, we did have a few technical issues, but really we are, after all, uh, how many thousands of miles away from uh, from Angleterre? Um, and I just think with the, with the amazing um, gear that we use, but also the amazing Jilly, okay, uh, <laughs> no other Jilly's available, I'm afraid. Um, if you could clone Jilly, make millions, couldn't you? Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. I mean, run your uh, run your business with a Jilly. Um, you know, <laughs> just, just give give it cats, and it will do anything. Um, right. Uh, so, yes, but it has been it has been technically demanding at times, um, but. With all you guys and your understanding, it's always just fantastic to to have our back, if you know what I mean. You've always got our back. Um, it's a very slow taxi for this guy. Very slow. Anne Harris, thank you. Andy Williams, Nicholas Gray, uh, Sinothus Blue, Sarah Pine. I loved all the 747s, MD83s and those beautiful L100s. Uh, wildlife was fantastic too, uh, Aidan Campbell. L100s, assessed. yes, the C130s you mean, the, Her the Hercules. Are they L100s, are they? Is that what their official um, uh, designation is? Old, um, it's interesting, isn't it? Old, uh, it's amazing, isn't it, that the... All of, um, all of, do what? Yeah, we got the government plane, yeah, this morning, uh, in amongst all the craziness. Uh, if you remember today, folks, was the day when, uh, by the way, this is the first day of autumn uh, in Alaska, ladies and gentlemen. Happy autumn to all Alaskonians. Alaskans, sorry. Um, but, uh, but, but yes, yesterday, uh, well, no, sorry, this morning we had, um, uh, crazy technical issue which didn't for once affect us it was YouTube YouTube went down their live streaming service went down completely this morning globally uh, everybody on the chat saying that I'm, I'm checking it now and no other channels are working of course uh, Ginny checked uh, tiny kittens <laughs> Okay, I've got an inbound. I've got an inbound. I think it might be another one of the... Uh... Yeah, it's another... Uh... Now, this looks like kind of like a kit plane. What's this? A miles high seeing the KC-135 and AWACS from a distance. That was another moment. It's too many moments, folks. You've got to watch the videos, but they're like nine hours each, aren't they? <laughs> Tell you what, man, my back, my lower back is uh, it's feeling the strain. I don't know what can you do, put myself in a, in a jig or something when I get home. <laughs> Just get Charchi to walk all over me back and do make puddings on me back, you know. Ow! Ooh! Uh, uh. So this is another one of those... Uh... Yeah, I think, 
I, th I don't know, actually. Is this the same livery? Yes, it is. It's another one of them, isn't it? These must be the sort of like the, the taxi service. Yeah, skills, man. Oh, he's up there. A Cessna 206 landing there. Rusty's Air Service, Alan Robbins. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Rusty's Air Service. Oh, is it rusts, is it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it would work better if it was rusts, rusties, wouldn't it? What do they do then? What's their, what's their, uh, do they, are they, um, are they like a, um, private? They'll take people up to lodges, they will identify with them. Oh, okay, so they're, oh, right, wow. So it's like a bus service, really? Yeah, yeah cool. They take people hunt, hunting and fishing. Flight seeing tours and day tours as well. Wow, there we go. Yeah, it's not for commuters. It's not commuting. Flight seeing, yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that picture there, man. Shame about the bleeding fencing shot, but hey, what can you do, hey, hey, hey? Well, folks, what have we got? 7 p.m., I need to go and get something to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no. Uh -oh. <laughs> the final curtain. Oh, is that uh, Emer Emer Emerald Cove? Emerald Cove is a new member. Emerald Cove, you've just joined, and we're just ending. Oh. So I hope, well, I would imagine that Emerald Cove has watched the whole show. Um, probably not just jumped in and come in, you know. Um, but lovely to see you here. Thank you very much indeed. And, and a very warm welcome to you. And all our other new members, um, those who've, who've come in or been gifted, whichever uh, you are more than welcome. Great to see you here. Um, hope you enjoy your time at Big Jet TV. Of course, we have a... Um, uh, um, a, 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 a a membership, what do you call it, Jilly, with your, st your stripes? Um, over a period of time, you'll get up to four stripes and then a star. And we've got a lot of those folks who've got, you know, three and four uh, stripes. And I think it's two months. Is it? Is it three months for two stripes, Jilly? Um, yeah, two months, get your second. Uh, six months, you get your third. Four stripes is a year, and um, gold star after gold star after two years, yeah, and then red. 
Wow, Red Star after three, and there's lots of them that come up, you know. Um, but great to see you. Look at look at them all there. Look, uh, Martin Smith, Miles High, seeing offers blue. Um, look at all these guys. It's with so, it's just great to see you here. It really is. Um, Dave Beeler, um, they have Beach 18s on floats. Got lumps of it round the back. Uh, O'Malley's almost the first officer. Uh, thank you, folks. It has been wonderful. Trevon Wood. Uh, Airplane Trev. Uh, thank you to you, D. Stu. Uh, Stephen Remy. Too many uh, guys. I Irish Dublin girl. Um, one more month and I get my star, Irish Dublin girl saying. How fantastic is that? Um, Oh, I, I say Irish Dublin girl. What's that? It, it used to be Irish Dublin girl. It's just night now Irish Dublin. I hope I've got that right. I do apologise. Uh, D Bashmo, my red star comes in February. Uh, Doug Jones, brilliant show. Uh, thanks, Miles High. Love this channel. Andy Williams, um, thanks for the week. It's been fantastic. Garrett Baxter, thank you so much. Uh, JP, uh, Jerry and G GP for the last week. There's someone who I don't, there's a lot of names, new names coming in here, but Garrett Baxter, he's a free striper. Thank you, Garrett, we really appreciate it. Um, Blake Kelly, really liked all the 747-8s. Help work the Korean president 747-8 earlier today. Great airplane, uh, great work, uh, just amazing as always. Thank you very much, Blake Kelly. Um, I think we are nearly done, folks. Uh, Brian Howard, Susan Fennec, um, Sparky Lady, this Pete, this has been an incredible week. Robert Davies, Steve Hull, um, thank you everybody. Uh, Sundown, TCC, Don Gutzman, Michael Lashuk, Joss Ford, Mark Jones, just so many of you folks. Thank you so much for your uh, for your company. Um, as like I've said so many times before, if I was just a um, videographer or a filmer, um, just coming out here to get stuff for a YouTube channel, I just would not really be, I mean, obviously I'd be in, a, in, I'd be in awe of it, but the fact that you're here, seeing it live with me for the first time, it's just, you know, and everything I'm seeing for the first time, you're seeing it with me. You're not missing a moment. It's not like I'm capturing it going, wow, look at that, it's amazing. And then uh, going back on a plane and editing it all together and put it in. It just, uh, it, I mean, it has the same impact, but live is just far more impactful and, um, and, and we can also pull stuff out of that as well that we can use at a later date. But we're definitely coming back. Uh, next month, it's um, Boston. And uh, we'll be on the inaugural flight of um, uh, Virgin Atlantic's A339. Is that right, Jilly? <laughs> October. Yep. So um, we'll be back next week, folks. Um, a big thank you once again to everybody who supports us here. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. Uh, thanks, Evan. Thanks, Timmy Toothpicks. Thank you to Ian as well. Uh, thanks to uh, Michael and Dave. Thanks to um, the, uh, the team at, um, at the airport as well. Uh, of course, a massive thank you to Jilly, um, the Moose, um, and really a big thank you to all of you guys um, for your support. Uh, hold on. And for being so welcoming to all the new members as well. Have I just heard an aircraft start up? Here comes the bank.
Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not kind of pointless, really, in it. Nah. I'm pointless. Oh, for when we come back. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's my hotel there. There's my hotel room over there, look. Or one of them. Around the back by the bins. Here we go. I haven't seen any raccoons. I'm a bit disappointed in that. I wanted to see some raccoons, man. Might hang around the bins tonight for a little bit. <laughs> on that bear spray, um, on the board there was pictures of other stuff like... Ah, uh, oh, yeah, it was a... Um, it was a, a, a food bag that was bare and... Um, trash panda um, resistant is he parking it up no he's going to turn it round I'm sure he's going to <laughs> really <laughs> yes I do want raccoons I like raccoons I think they're delicious Make them share. <laughs> oh my god, possums are cute, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what's that? Uh, is that a? Is that a float plane? On approach? No, he's got wheels. He's got wheels on it. Come on, son. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, in my hotel, they got some lovely pictures of wild animals and all that. And in the corridor, there's there's one of a wild cat, which looks lovely. He's got a little bit of snow on his on his nose, where he's, he's like, you know, like smiling, like a what do they call it, a bobcat or something like that. Um, yeah, and uh, and then another one of a big grizzly, and he's looking at his big little furry ears and all that. And the expression on his face is like, huh? and um, you know, every time I walk down the corridor, sorry. so cool man and of course we'll be back for more in the summer in the meantime folks I'm gonna go to oh hold on a minute <laughs> wait a minute look how open that cockpit is how cool that is in there look over here mate look over here mate look over here Got his headphones on, he's not gonna hear me, is he? Okay. Yeah, it's really cool man. Look how lightweight that thing is. See now to me that looks all fiberglass and high po quality polymers and all that sort of thing. It's probably like 1968 or something. It, do it doesn't look old, does it?
Super Cub. He's 70 years old. No way, man. Polymers and oh my. Wow. That is 70 years old. Oh my goodness me. That is insane. That is insane. I did not think it was that old, man. Yeah, yeah. See, the floats have got little uh, rudders on them, haven't they? And I think they're linked, obviously, to the... Um, it's obviously, a, they're cable operated. Uh, probably a cable that runs through. I'd imagine that centre leg there or something like that. It's a fabric wing, yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, it's a fabric wing, yeah. Yeah. Dope. They stretch it with dope, don't they? Well, I used to. I used to mosquito wings were like that, I think. In certain sections of the Lancaster bomber. Um, flaps, I think they were. The flaps were... Um, Fabric coated, fabric covered. Chile. Yeah, the Mexican restaurant is calling. Well, the fast food restaurant. It's not fast food. The lovely chairs in there. Got lovely furniture in the in the restaurant. It's really, really nice. It's a drive-through, but the, the furniture's like all handcrafted and beautiful colours and all oh, mine up. Yeah, there's lots of that. Oh, hold on a minute. I've got one coming out to my right here or from my right here, sneaking in. What's he doing then? He's definitely on the move. He's definitely on the move. Suddenly turned very, very cold, man. Very cold. You what? Is there an Antonov here? I don't know if there's an Antonov here. I mean, do Antonov make a float plane or a small? Well, it's I mean, it doesn't have to be a float plane, does it? It could be a plane. It, it, I think they can convert these uh, with uh, from a land plane to a sea plane. I'm guessing you would say, wouldn't you? Capabilities to do so. Just um, keeping my eye on that one on my, on my right. Inbound, inbound. Is this one of Rust's? So much better if it's it. Hey, is this one of Rusty's? <laughs> no, it's not. It's a privateer. And the runway is lit up, by the way, folks. Well, the water strip is lit up. Wind's picking up a bit. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Look, easy, son. All right, you can do it. God, oh, that's a bright light, man. Yeah, yeah. The float's a big, draggy piece of equipment underneath the aircraft, isn't it? 
Very draggy. Is he going to make that? Is he going to make that? Blimey. Oh, he's going up down there. Nice. What colour, Jilly? To the left of me. Oh, hold on a minute. Black, blue. Okay, the black and blue plane past it that's coming out. Where's he gone, that one that was up there? Oh, there he is, I've got him. Hold on a minute. I'm just watching him because he's close to... Well, he won't let it go anywhere until he gets clearance here. It's not the Antonov there, is it? It's not the Antonov there, is it, Jilly? Oh, and the phone cuts out. <laughs> I can't make it up. Sixty-seven years old, and it that I thought was like you know a kit plane or something. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Okay, I think this guy's next, and then it's time for food, folks. Okay, this is the last one, GP, and then we're going to, uh, then I'm going to go and get some food. Oh, okay. Oh. Silver one with uh, big, big silver one. Okay. Um, apparently, we went we, when we were filming that other one. We went past it, did we? It's a big silver one. Well, there aren't any that are doing that, Chile. I mean, the only ones that are facing me are here, like this. Okay. Behind one, is it? Okay. No. I, I, I really don't know, mate. I don't. I really don't know. No. I mean, the only uh, the only polished one I can see is down there. That one there. 
uh, other than that. Uh, right, folks, that's me out. Oh, OK, that's it, is it? That's the Antonov, is it? OK, well, we found it. OK, that's your lot, folks. Thank you so much for your, uh, for your, uh, for your company. Uh, and we will see you at Heathrow next week. I'd imagine it's going to be Heathrow. Um, but uh, you know what we're like. Uh, and we'll hopefully have some more updates on the 339 as well. Because um, that is... Um, is something that we need to uh, we need to update ourselves on as well. Uh, also, Rolls Royce is still a little bit hot as well. Um, we got a um, another contact from them last week, so uh, be dealing with that when I get back as well as uh, all the other stuff that we've got. We've of course got Liège with our good friend who was at Munich at the time. Sorry, at um, at Cologne at the time. Uh, we are going back to Cologne as well and of course don't forget we're going back to Louisville uh, for the Thanksgiving rush there as well. So lots of things planned folks, it will continue to happen and we thank you so much for your company and thank you Jilly, uh, really appreciate everything you do as well and uh, everybody look after yourselves, uh, be good to yourselves, uh, be responsible and uh, be good to the animals and we'll see you next time, cheers. It is cold, it is cold. Oh look, 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 Chili! Before you go. <sighs> He's a happy chap. Look at his right his head, he's nodding his head and everything. Look, 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 look. Wee! It's a wee! It's for us, mate. It is for us. Oh, thank you. And we'll come back and see you in the. I feel sorry. I don't, don't really want to leave him here now. <laughs> oh, hold on. Look, he's like, look, look, look at me. Look, look. Oh, this is why that guy, he's a built ball and he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it. He's come the other way, mate. That's gonna, cause the wind changed. Oh, he's a happy sock now, isn't he, look. Okay. <laughs> look at him, Right, folks, look after yourselves. We'll see you next week. Adopt a wing sock. Wind sock. Sorry. Bless him. Okay, GP, you can cut.